folks, Jason Steele, broker your Saugeen Shores and area real estate representative here on location at the Saugeen Shores Chamber of Commerce. This is Saugeen Shores 20 and 20 Holiday Edition, Episode 3 of Season 6. Let's go inside, see what the Chamber does. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're inside here at the Saugeen Shores Chamber of Commerce. I'm with Kim Peterson. How are you? I'm well, Jason. Excellent. So, your role here? I am the executive director. And what does the executive director do for the chamber? I would say <laughs> a shorter list would be what she doesn't do. <laughs> but primarily, I, uh, I advocate for businesses, for small businesses actually. Um, th and that's what a chamber does. A chamber is a business association. If you think of it like almost like a union where small businesses can join. And when they do, they have some power through my voice. Excellent. So uh, for like government programs, for initiatives, things like that? For government programs uh, and on all three levels of government. So we have municipal, we have provincial, and we have federal government um, advocacy work. But we do more than just advocacy, of course. We also um, take advantage of the economy of scale that we have. So we are a part of the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, which comprises of 60,000 members across Ontario, and we also are part of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, which comprises of over 200,000 members across Canada. And so when you have numbers like that, uh, there's definitely economies of scale there when it comes to different services. Excellent. I noticed you know, a lot of brochures, a lot of flyers, a lot of business cards from local businesses that are part of the Chamber of Commerce. So it's, it's a very good initiative for small business to get involved in? Absolutely. I mean, that's the reason why we exist. We exist only because small, bi small businesses see the value of a chamber membership. And when they join, my job and the, my team, our, our purpose is to ensure that businesses have a voice, that they can um, network and do business easily with each other. Excellent. And then um, people call in, they're looking for cottage rental or they're looking for a real estate agent. Where does that phone call go to? Just any business in town? Well, we, we, uh, we absolutely have to promote our chamber members. And the, the, the great thing about being a part of the Chamber of Commerce is that it uh, automatically builds your credibility as a business owner. And it's interesting that you, you mention accommodator. So many of them require fairly large deposits. And uh, people are a little bit um, wary about making those kinds of transactions. And so, of course, they call the chamber and they say, what do you know about this particular accommodator or uh, renter, uh, rental unit? And I'm there to say, you know, if they're a chamber member, they're credible. And so just to back up a little bit, when a business applies to be a part of the chamber, that business goes in front of our board of directors and we have conversations around it. And then there's a vote whether or not to accept that business as a member because the integrity of a chamber membership is very important to us. It's that credibility piece. Excellent, yeah, I mean, you certainly don't want fly by nights or, or businesses that are going to tarnish the reputation of the town, definitely. Yeah, and, and that's correct. And there have been businesses where have we've had numerous complaints about. And it, again, went back to our board of directors for a conversation and a vote. And we've actually had to dismiss some of our members because of, of the nature of the complaints. We could not vouch for their credibility any longer. Excellent. Okay, so now to become a member, people or businesses can apply online, fill out the necessary paperwork, and then it gets approved by the membership. Um, or the executive committee, low cost as well? Uh, well, many people don't realize that the Chamber of Commerce is a nonprofit organization, and so what that means is that at the end of the year, we're not paying big dollars out to our shareholders. What we do, we take that profit at the end of the year, we put it back into our membership dues so that we can continue offer offering uh, a very low membership rate and we just took a, a really close critical look at what those rates are and adjusted them so depending on where what type of business you have um, if you're an accommodator or you're a solo entrepreneur then um, a membership starts at roughly two hundred dollars for the whole year excellent well there you have it folks you know if you're a small business in town 
very, very important to become a chamber member. It gets you out there with web presence, but not only that, it gives you some credibility uh, that the, the general public knows you're a chamber member, you've been vetted, you're an excellent business. So for Sogging Shores 20 and 20, it's Jason Steele along with Kim Peterson here at the Sogging Shores Chamber of Commerce. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas, everybody.